Okay, you ready? Charna, Boss, Esther Miriam. And um, I'm here at the Western Wall, the Kotel in Yerushalayim, about to dive in Mara for the sake of the yard site. Stay tuned. Yo creo que no. ¿Sí? Bueno, por qué se lo ponen. Bueno, I'm in this cave under near the wall. I'm saying the Mishnah for my mother, his name is Charna, beginning with the letter S. I'm going to say one chapter for each one of the letters in her name. <laughs> Let's take a, look at the, take a look at the history of this place from 6,000 years ago. 6,000 years ago, approximately, the, according to the Jewish heritage, the world was founded. From where? From this point up here. This point up here is called the Foundation Stone, and it lays upon a mountain called Mount Moriah. Okay? Now, we continue a bit more into history. We know the story of Abraham when he comes. Uh, with his son Isaac in order to um, sacrifice him on top of Mount Moriah, on top of the foundation stone. So imagine you travel all the way to Hebron. Oh. Yes, Hashem, anything and everything. This is the place, Abraham, to be not called Bakomi Kokal. This is the place, 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 this is the the field like the fragrance of Hashem. Fragrance of my son, like the fragrance of the field that God blessed 
later on in history, a bit more, a bit deeper into history, we come to the time of King David. King David comes to this area, 3000 BCE, and he conquers all this area, the southern part of Mount Moriah, from the Jebusite to build the city of David. And he, built, he buys all Mount Moriah from a man called Arvona the Jebusite in order to build on top of Mount Moriah the first temple. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the honor to build the first temple. And only his son, Solomon, in year 960, builds the first temple on top of Mount Moriah. Hi, it's me again. I'm going to Mimitha. Mother's yard. Tap, tap, tap like a clown. Tap, tap. Bueno, pues, ¿qué es lo que es de él?